How's it going guys? Today, I'm going to show you how I stabilize my footage with Stabilize Motion. Once you have the clip that you want, we're going to have to do two things. First, we're going to have to pre-compose this. So pre-compose it one time, make sure it's trimmed up in the pre-composition, and then we're going to pre-compose it one more time. Trim that up as well, and just make sure all your compositions are properly set. So in the first composition, what you're going to do is go to Warp Stabilizer and stabilize your footage. We're going to go over here to the advanced tab, uncheck fast analysis, check detailed analysis, and let's move this down to around 20. Let this finish, and then we're going to track the motion. Once your footage is stabilized, now we can go into the second composition, and here we're going to go down to tracker, stabilize motion. If you don't see this, go up to window, and go down here to tracker. So click on your layer, click on stabilize motion, and here, you're going to see there's tracking points. We're going to go into the first box in the center and extend this out. And let's zoom out. So for this clip, we want to track the BMW logo. So let's center this onto the logo. This first box is the area that you want focused on. And the second box is where it'll look for your object. I like to make sure this is not too big, so it doesn't take too long to track this. So once you have that set up, we're going to click right here and analyze forward. This might take some time depending on how big your tracking area is. If you don't want the tracking to take too long, you can select something smaller, but just make sure that every single point is accurate. So I'll show you right now. We'll select just the M and make the squares a little bit smaller. You also want to make sure that the object you're selecting does stand out so it does know what to track. Once your tracking is finished, just quickly review to make sure all your points are accurate. You can just scroll through here and make sure it's all dialed in to where you want it to be. If at any point your keyframe changes, just go to that position where it changes and adjust your search area again back to where you want it to start and then you can continue analyzing. So once that's finished, you're going to go over here to go to edit target, make sure it's selected on your layer, press OK, hit apply, X and Y, and press OK. Now your whole layer will be focused on that logo. The only thing we have to adjust is the position. So click P on your keyboard. To open up position and let's center this again we're going to have the original values at the end in the beginning we're going to zoom in open up your position as well you might have to keyframe this you can go over here and click on proportional grid to view the center point as well we'll center this make sure there's no clipping on any of the frames we're going to zoom this in and we're going to set this at the end Now you can go back into your main composition and do any effects, speed ramping, or whatever you need. I hope this helped you out. If you're still struggling with video editing and need some guidance, I recommend you check out the editing courses, which have over 200 members already signed up. More info on djordanmedia.com.